All right. So Ben Rausch is a dude that submitted his music to our website a few, I don't know, a while ago. But uh, he's got he's got an interesting twist on music. It's a sort of a comedy twist, and uh, he's won a lot of awards apparently, and uh, been doing having some success with the emoji song. So we're having him on tonight. Ben, how you doing? Nice to see you. I'm great. How you doing? Thanks for having me on. Yeah, great to have you, man. Um, So tell us a little bit about who you are, what you're doing, and uh, the Emoji song, and we're going to take a snippet of it, come back and get deeper with Dave. Cool. Uh, So uh, I'm a pop rock uh, comedy singer-songwriter, and I play keyboard and guitar, and I sing. Um, And yeah, and I, I do have an album coming out called Tales from the Turnpike, because I'm from New Jersey. And I'm proud that I'm from New Jersey. I also have a, a song called Jersey. <laughs> yes, there we go. Uh, I have a song called Jersey Christmas that was uh, that gets some radio play every year, and um, it's it was released before the Emoji song. And the Emoji song is single. It's uh, it's about you know kind of boundaries and what's appropriate texting and what's you know what where where do we push the boundaries and 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 how people judge us you know uh, wrongly and. And rightly, sometimes, you know, for our communication through text, I'm sure, you know, everyone out there can like relate to some type of time where they they were texting somebody and they totally misinterpreted what they were saying. Yeah, like totally. there was, you know, the, the, they used caps and it's like, stop yelling at me. Yeah. It's like I, I, I just had cap slack on or I just wanted <laughs> to be, you know, accentuate something and people like interpret it in a way that's not the intention. Yep, not so, a whole, what do they say? Not a whole lot of room for nuance on texting. Right, exactly. Yeah, so, but cool. as an artist, you know, as an artist, we want nuance. Like, that's, we love that. You know, we like the little messages, so. Sweet. So, let's check out Ben Roush, the emoji song. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments, share this video out, and we'll be right back to get deeper with Dave. Oh, yeah. Sent two thumbs up when she changed her hair She broke her ankle, I sent two hands in prayer Sent five party hats and three slices of cake Sent the happiest birthday that my iPhone could make I sent cars lined up when I was running late With turtles and snails to further illustrate I sent the frustrated grimace of a man to say that I lost my job, it was a thumbs down day But now she has left me, so please tell me why This happy face, squinty face is starting to cry Oh, the answer came through when her text did reply I sent too many emojis for being a guy I sent three to four pumpkins each Halloween morn Eight Christmas trees on the day that Jesus was born Fireworks and burgers and corn and surprise With American flags and for the delight I sent her swim guy, canoe guy, a guy on ice skates A pink heart, a purple heart, a heart that just breaks But now she has left me, so please tell me why This happy face, squinty face is starting to cry Oh, the answer was simple when her text it replied I sent too many emojis for being a guy Even on days we weren't spending together I sent sunshine and rain clouds to tell He's still alive, but Frankie Valley, if you go back about 60 years or so, yeah, and uh, if he made a decision at that time to kind of get more into comedy and acting and then jumped on a time machine to present day, he would be Ben Roush. Do you see? I love that. Do you see the connection, man? He's a Jersey boy. He's got like the high tenor pitch singing voice. I yep. mean, boom. Are and you feeling I- that? I, uh, I have mafia connections. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I was actually in the movie Jersey Boys. I actually uh, was a 
uh, worked with Clint Eastwood and he, uh, Frankie Valli yep. was on set. And uh, I was getting to that, man. Oh, Damn cool! It. I didn't. No, no, it's I don't right. know. No. Yeah, no, he. Thank you. That's I love that. I love that. That no one's ever made that comparison. Um, guys, they do falsetto. You know, some falsetto in, in the in eight the song, hours but... of meditation it took me to come up with that one line. I no, hope people I, like it. I, I love it. It was worth it. So, a uh, bunch of stuff to talk about here. I mean, you, you've you got a bunch of pretty cool acting gigs. Big Bang Theory, uh, Mr. Robot, you know, the Jersey Boys thing and everything, which is a super cool connection. Right. Uh, so, I guess the main question here is, you, it's like you're doing a lot of different things. Where does music sit in your repertoire of your career right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I make a living, you know, mostly as a musical director of pianist. I was touring with Darlene Love as her keyboardist uh, uh, last year. And, uh, you know, musical, I direct a lot of around town. I'm doing an off-Broadway show coming up. And uh, I played Copacabana on New Year's, uh, which I, it was my second year doing that. Um, you know, my, my goal is like, you know, I love, I love music and I can't wait to get the rest of my album out. I'm working on a couple of new videos. But my, my, I think my main focus more is, you know, I, I love acting, you know, it's a part of, for me, music and acting are one, because the type of music I do is comedy music. So there's, I feel it should be acted out. It's like borders the line of musical theater, which I have a background in. Um, so it's like really one for me, like it's one, one and the same. Um, but, you know, music is like my main, my main focus right now. All right. So you get two phone calls in the same day. The first one's uh -oh. is an offer to have like a major cameo in a uh, very popular sitcom mm -hmm. that's on TV right now. An hour later, you get a call and they say, yeah, we want you to open up for Bon Jovi or Bruce Springsteen or some like major artist. It's like, what, what do you do? Does it conflict? They conflict in the same yes. day? Yep, same day. Oh, man. Um, I ch well, bon jo that, you know, you can weigh that, right? I mean, I think uh, I would choose Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen, man. I brought, I mean, that's like, you're playing in front of 10,000 people. Like I'd mm -hmm. rather, you know, I would, I would like, I would, and I'm a big fan of both of them, you know? Okay. So that says to me, like music is slightly higher notch maybe. Than, yeah. Okay. Well, Bon Jovi and Bruce Springsteen are, are you know, yeah. if, if, if it was like open up for uh, somebody, you know, that was, you know, that, I don't know, that, that wasn't playing a 10,000 seat theater, I would probably choose the, the gotcha. TV thing. Yeah. All right, cool, man. So, uh, you're are you coming out with a new album soon? Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's uh, I'm working on the last song, and the rest of the album is finished. It was uh, mastered by Emily Lazar, who like was first female to win a Grammy award uh, this year for mastering. She's the first female in history, and uh, yeah, I'm just working on some music videos around that. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm I'm starting to book some you know college jobs. You know, like playing at different colleges around the country and. Uh, yeah, I just want to be touring, you know, I want to be like playing, playing out. And I love that. I love live more than recording. I love playing live. Yeah, man. So. Yeah. Just the energy of it. I, I was clicking a uh, link in a bio and it took, I thought it was your website, but it was yeah. a, a dead link. Do you have one or uh, to, to a bio or a link? No. Do you have a, do you have a website with all your oh, stuff? Yeah. yeah. Uh, ben Roush site. Ben Rouse site. Okay, I yeah, think it's down music. right now. So check it after what? the interview. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> just That's... paid my bill. <laughs> I just those guys after three three years, they're like, yeah, you got to pay again. I was like, well, I paid three years ago, and you said it was for six <laughs> years. And they're like, there's something else, you know, you, you forgot the security feature. You have to pay for that. I was like, oh man. All right, man. So what's gonna, like I'm your gonna... what's your main social media presence? Uh, YouTube. You can go to YouTube because that's where my music videos are, and uh, it's, it's more about that. Then my, my bikini pictures on Instagram, you know, I'm just like downplaying that, you know, I'm no, of veer, course, yeah. veering, veering away from that <laughs> side yeah. of, you know, what I used to put out there. Uh, no, uh, ben Roush uh, Music at YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Ben Roush Music. All right, cool. We are going to move on. It was awesome to have you here, man. Please come Thank back. You. Yeah, Thanks when you release me, the man. new album, send it to us. That. Yes. Done. All right, Ben, awesome. take care, man. Thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. Thanks.